Hello, beautiful sags. How are you? Welcome to your March 2020 reading. This is Star Sister Oracle. My name is Mache. I already got some cards down here for y'all because I started recording without my mic. Uh, so we're redoing it. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. Um, if this does not resonate, please check out your other placements. You can find all my information below. I do give personal readings. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if this resonates. If it doesn't, throw it away. All right. Feel free to screen record anything that resonates and share it with your people. All right. You have the sex. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. We're going to be looking at yourself, your money, and your relationships, platonic, intimate, or otherwise. All right. So first of all, first up, Y'all are doing beautiful. I feel intuitively when I was just shuffling for y'all, I was getting the energy that you guys have really laid the foundation really well and you are you guys are stepping into and fully aware of your uniqueness, fully aware of your value, fully aware of what you bring to the table, right? You guys are just very, very sure. Good for y'all, okay? We all need, we need some of this sad energy because a lot of us, the other Zodiacs, they were all Scorpios. If you got a Scorpio friend, please check on them. They need some help, okay? Their ego is running amok. They out here into it, third, third eye blocked, okay? Crown chakra blocked. <laughs> so help them out, Zags. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. You know, had some beautiful energy starting out. Spirit so wanted you to allow for adaptation when it comes to your spiritual path, your life path, your soul divine mission, right? So be be willing to adapt, and that's going to come up when we talk about your money again, also. So be willing to adapt. New new environments are changing. New people are coming into your life, and so be willing to adapt to those changes and those people, right? Because that's growth. And you guys have grown a lot and maybe you've done so on your own accord, but maybe now it's time to, to have some new influence. Maybe it's time to get some new ideas. Maybe it's a new, a, a new time to get some new expression about how you can express, how you can uh, create and manage money, how you can create and manage success, right? So allow for some adaptation. And then when I tried to see what you guys, where you guys are on your spiritual path, we got the number 44, eyes on the prize. All right, you guys, are, your eyes are on the prize. Like I said, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what to do. You guys are very sure at this time. All right, you guys are guided by your North Star. You are guided by the vision. The vision is clear for my sags, okay? And we got the number 44, all right? And then as far as what needs to be released, y'all need to just keep going. Y'all need to just keep going. And then I pulled the judgment card. And for y'all, for some reason, I felt like you guys were the person on top. I feel like you guys were the person coming into people's lives, teaching them. You guys were coming into you guys are coming into people's lives in March 2020, um, helping other people face themselves, helping other people face their worries, their troubles, and their lessons, and helping them get to their next step. What a beautiful responsibility! What, but a big responsibility, right? You know, all this all this work you've been doing it comes with some responsibility, right? And I'm sure my sags don't have a problem stepping into that that power. It doesn't seem like it from the energies that are here right now, okay? And then we've got the three of swords in the reverse. You guys know how to get the daggers out of your heart. You know, you guys have healthy and good coping mechanisms when it comes to betrayal, when it comes to heartache, when it comes to falling. You know how to pick yourself back up. Sure, stay in the emotions, let them come, uh, learn from them, and then you guys know how to keep it moving. And, and at the bottom of the deck during this shuffle, I did have the six of swords, right? You guys know how to move on. You guys know, you guys are, tr you guys trust. You guys trust your vision. You know that there's something better on the other side. My God, make sure you, what a, what a, what a beautiful place to be in to be able to be someone else's guiding star and say, hey, SAG's got it together. Like, you know, let's be inspired by their story. Let's be inspired that, but yeah, by their story. And and I did also want to say that you know I've I, I've explained and Spirit has explained that you guys are definitely in this teaching moment. But be aware that not everyone wants to hear the teachings, right? And so for me, what I really find to be really great is just to to be an example, or even better, uh, to share with people who are willing and wanting to hear you share your story, right? It's not so much about preaching and teaching. Sometimes it's just about revealing. Sometimes it's just about being open and vulnerable and saying, yo, this happened to me. And, and, you know, not saying, not staying stuck in the problem, but inspiring them by how you found a solution. Okay. Ashe. And then I pulled again, like healer of the ages, like y'all are really healed up. Y'all are really doing the work. Y'all really have, um, something to show for what you guys have been going through. Okay. 
We've got the number 33, 44, and then we've got the number 44 again with the woman holding a heart in the position of the blessing coming your way in the month of March as far as your spiritual development. There might be a woman coming in, feminine energy coming in, ready to show you her heart, ready to show you how much she loves you, ready to show how much she appreciates you, just ready to show her emotional depths, right? Somebody just might be opening up their heart to you, right? It doesn't have to be about you, it doesn't have to be romantic, but they're just opening up. People are opening up around you, which is why you're in this teacher position, Zags. They see how you've transformed and they're like really attracted to that, right? And they're like, I want to like, let me go and talk to SAG. Like they got something, they got something to figure out. Like, you know, if they're your friend, like, of course they're going to seek your counsel, right? You're, you're, like I said, you guys are dancing to the beat of your own drum. You guys are sitting and standing in your uniqueness. You guys are nourishing your garden. Now talking about nourishment, this came up in the reverse, nourish in your money, which means it makes me feel like there's some depletion going on. And that's interesting because some other things did come up. Now, I did want to say, because for some reason this card was giving me woman reproductive system. And so I don't know, some of y'all might need to do a yoni steam. Um, if you guys want to know what to put in it, I have my herbs that I put in mine. Put it in a pot, put it in a bowl. It don't have to be in a special steam bowl. Like, you don't need to buy anything else, all right? Don't deplete your money by trying to, you know, get all the, da -da -da, like, just buy the herbs. Put it in a bo put it in a pot of water, boil it. Put the boiling hot water in a, in a sufficient bowl that you can put on a, you know, um, hardwood floor, tile floor. So, you know, because it does tend to spill sometimes once you're moving around. Put yourself over the bowl, put two blankets around you and sit there for about 15, 20 minutes. All right. So Yoni steams for some of you, but also just work, making sure that you're not depleting. It seems like you guys are depleting your money. So watch your money in the month of March. Make sure enough is staying in your account. Okay. Now, as far as what needs to be released so that you guys can maintain financial stability, what came up, um, let me see if I got any of these cards still on top. Yeah, I do. Perfect. So here's some cards that came out for y'all. Like I said, I recorded this before and um, uh, didn't have my mic on. Um, so what was coming up was the fact that you guys, it might be what's, what's, what's keeping you guys stuck and not seeing the money that you need. I don't know if a lot of you are business owners, if you guys are superiors at your job, but it seems like you guys are sitting in a seat of power and you're being a little bit hard headed. You're not being flexible, Sag. Uh, you're not letting new ideas in. We've got the sun in the reverse and the five of pentacles. It's like, yeah, you're a boss, but people are feeling left out in the cold. How'd that work? Are you really a boss? What did Jay-Z say? You, I, I, I rate success by how many people are successful next to you. Okay? Word to Jay-Z. Do you have successful people around you or are you the only successful person, Sagittarius? Because if that's so, then you might, might, might need to reshuffle. You want to create legacy. You don't want to leave people out in the cold. You don't want to make people's dreams feel dimmed. You don't want their light to be dimmed. And that's what it feels like you guys are doing. You guys are dimming the light of the people around you because you are a teacher, right? You are evolved. You have produced, right? You've produced how you've produced. But there's a, a sense that you guys need to let in the page of wand. I'm sorry, the page of um, pentacles and the page of cups came up, which means you guys need to let in some freshness. You guys need to let in some new ideas. You guys need to let in. All right. Kind of surrender your ego, surrender, you know, it's, it's, it, you guys should be proud of all the work that you've done, but you also need to stay flexible. You also need to stay in growth mindset. You also need to stay flexible. You need to stay vulnerable to the people around you. That's what leaders do. Leaders don't just say, I actually said this a while ago, um, power without grace is force. Power without grace is force. Force might Power and force might get you something when you're in the room, you're breathing down people's necks or they're afraid and they just want to please you. But grace, power accompanied with grace gets you results when you're not in the room, when you're out of town, because people admire you, because people respect you, because people see you, because you let yourself be seen as a human, as a, as a flawed human. 
people are, when you show people your vulnerability that you too get it wrong, they feel more comfortable getting it wrong. And that's where new ideas come from. That's where new inspiration comes from. Page of pentacles, page of cups. You guys have to let in this new um, idea about infrastructure, let in a new idea about a, a creative endeavor, let some new ideas in sags. Okay. Because it feels like you guys are sitting in this unhealthy place of power and you guys are cutting yourself. You guys are like being very, very cold. Okay, and also what else came out? The six of wands and the devils came out, and the devil came out, which is a horrible pairing. The attachment to victory, the attachment to winning, right? You guys have this unhealthy um, attachment or this unhealthy idea about what it means to sit in power. Like I said, power without grace is force. You guys need to really, really examine what you think it means to be a leader. Look at what real leaders do. Real leaders produce legacy. Real leaders produce other leaders, which means that they have to let other people take over, which means they let they have to entrust people, right? You have to trust people to do a job. You have to let people fail. And then you have to be kind and graceful when they do fail. Don't berate them because then they won't try anything again. And what, what happens when new ideas aren't coming? Death stagnation okay just because your ideas are flourishing now doesn't mean they're always going to be flourishing okay and we had a little trouble trying to get to what's the what's the um blessing coming in because spirit was still showing me some reversals it's like y'all not seeing something okay y'all are being hard-headed sags right like i pumped y'all head up but now your head's too big all right. You guys aren't really able and you guys might be feeling this. You might you might be feeling like, man, I have this idea, but I'm just not able to get it through to the top tier of my company. I'm just not able to get this idea out. It's because you're being too fixed. It's because you're being too fixed. So release. Are y'all a fixed sign? I don't remember. But this is what happens. I asked spirit. So when they start to release, when they start to remember that they are always the student, when they are always a student, they are always receptive, right? The students are in a space of receptivity. Of course, you're a teacher, but also stay a student. Stay vulnerable, stay light, stay playful. Once you do that, Ace of Cups, new flow of direction, new, new flow of information, right? Once you release a little bit, when you give other people the will, when you give other people trust, when you give other people grace, Ace of Cups. New emotional bonds with your employees, new emotional bonds with your coworkers. The ideas will start pouring in, right? Because you've 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 uh, you've created like this kind of open door policy, right? Um, because people feel like they can be expressive and they can get new ideas to their leader, you, right? Sure, ten of the ideas might be bad, but two might be great, right? And isn't that worth it? Isn't it worth it to hear all ten in order to get two great ones? Come on now, and it's because you've released your ideas of what leadership looks like it's because you release these outdated ideas of what yeah it means to lead of what it means to sit in your power all right sags so that's what came up for your money all right once you let the this um new information these new ideas from your employees and your business partners whoever it is just take that message and, and apply it as it as it's needed but once you do that then you'll get this ace of cups okay all right for your relationships spirit wants you to <clears throat> excuse me y'all this is funny spirit wants you to allow for tribulation Trials and tribulations. Oh, Lord. Allow for tribulations. Allow for the upsets. Allow for the trials and tribulations, right? Like, wow. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, sex. Right? Like, allow, work through them together and you'll create harmony. Work through the difficulties and you guys will have something to celebrate. Work through everybody's different personalities and how they like to work and how they, you know, what motivates them, what they see as success, um, how they wish to be compensated. Once you guys can, can work together effectively and make sure everyone's needs are getting met, cause for celebration for the greater good.
All right, tell me more about these tribulations. <laughs> Yeah, turning them into something beautiful. So I just got the temperance card. Being able to transform difficulty into growth. Stagnation into movement. Passion into fruition. Mm, Emperor card came out again. Two uh, major arcana. Three. See? These, this hierophant is now in the upright. It was in the reverse when we were talking about your money because you weren't in a good place of power. You were, you were too high and mighty, right? Like a bad religious leader. That's what that hierophant is. It's like a cult leader. Y'all want to run a cult or y'all want to run a business? Y'all trying to be praised or are you trying to produce work that empowers people? All right. Wow. Three major arcana. Yeah, it's like you're going to be, you're going to be, um, tribulations. You're going to be faced with something that's going to be uncomfortable, Sags, that's going to challenge your power, okay? You guys are going to be in a place where your, your, your authority is going to be challenged in your business relationships or even at home. If you're the mom or the dad, your children might be like, mom, the way you interact with me is not cool, like... I don't, you make me feel unloved. You make me feel like I'm not good enough. You make me feel like your way is the only way. And um, it's just not true. It's like, it's just like, make sure that four of wands came out, y'all. Wow. Tell me more about this hair font. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords. I don't have to leave this, this y'all fighting and shit, trying to start stuff or not being, um, right? Because true leaders know how to dissolve conflict, but it's like you guys are the cause of it because you are so firm in your seat of power. But I feel that changing, okay? I feel that changing because we've got the Four of Wands. We've got the, first of all, we've got the Ace of Swords clarifying the Temperance, right? So being authentic, because authentically what you want, truly what you want is success, Sags. You guys want your business to be successful. We've got the judgment card up here again and the three of pentacles right there. Wow. Wow. Okay. Right, I was telling you guys earlier that, you know, you guys are the teacher in this judgment card, but you guys need to face some judgment too about what's willing, what's worth fighting for. Mm hmm. What's worth fighting for? Isn't it worth it for you to just pull back a bit? Isn't it worth it for you to just listen for a little bit? Isn't it worth it for you to just humble yourself as you wear your crown? Right? These are two powerful masculine energies. But humble yourself. It's great responsibility. It's not just about, it's not just about delegating. It's not just about dictating. It's about listening. It's about being flexible. Okay. And then we've got the four of wands beautifully, um, clarifying the emperor, right? He creates harmony. He creates a happy family. He's in a good marriage, right? Because he understands the give and take. He understands the give and take. He understands that people aren't to be ruled. They're not to be controlled. They're meant to be listened to. People need to self-express. That's how harmony happens when everyone's needs are heard. Esther Perel said, sometimes when you're in disagreement, ask the other person, what, what was happening for you? Right? What was happening for you when I forgot, when I, uh, you know, when I stumbled during uh, the presentation, what was happening for you uh, when, you know, w w if you're in discussion with your children, what happened for you, you know, when you forgot your phone, right? We get so upset with our children when they lose expensive things. We get upset with our children uh, when they have emotional outbursts. Let's listen. 
what was happening for you. Because then when you put yourself in a position to sit and listen, you learn, oh, they were going through X, Y, and Z. They were feeling abandoned. They were feeling like I didn't trust them. They were feeling, right? And because when you're dictating so much, you don't hear anybody. Sags, and this is for everyone. If you are dictating, if you are telling, 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 you're not listening. The emperor, the evolved emperor listens so that he can create a harmonious home, business, work environment, self, right? And then we've got the hermit card clarifying the hero font. Quiet reflection, I'm feeling is needed, Sags. Quiet reflection. Are people producing the way that they need to produce? Are your children, do the, your children's eyes light up when they see you or do they, when you walk into a room, do they get afraid? Whew. Something to think about. Something to think about. Face your judgment. What's worth fighting for, Sags? Is it the happiness of your family or is it you being right? working together so that we can move towards emotional fulfillment, which is what you want. Offerings of love that lead to, to stability. Working together, listening to everyone in the room, okay? Listening, asking what was happening for you. We don't have to agree we don't have to say, yeah, that is right. Like when your kid says, yeah, that's what was happening. Your child reveals this is what was happening. You don't have to agree and they don't have to agree with you, but you guys just have to come to an understanding and honor each other's emotions. Their feelings are valid, okay? So many times parents invalidate their child's feelings and that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Then you wonder why they ain't married when they're 33. Why you, cause mama, you never validated my feelings because dad, every time I cried and showed any ounces of emotion, you berated me. No, I'm not in a healthy relationship yet. Fuck. <laughs> so you guys are needing to release that control and open yourselves up to listening, open yourselves up to growth within your home, your business, and your relationship, all, all types of forms of relationships. Platonic too, all right? Platonic too. All of that can be applied. All right? What's the blessing coming in from my sags as far as relationships are concerned? What's the blessing coming in from my sags? Hold on now. If it comes out again, let me know, spirit. What's the blessing coming in as far as my sags, relationships, business, platonic, or otherwise? Hmm. Security. Hmm. Once you take action, okay, you guys need to act. You guys need to, you guys might need to create that sense of security because you guys are obviously in a position of, um, of power. You guys are obviously evolving. You guys have obviously put in a lot of work. It seems as if, hold on. Some stability is coming in your relationships. Beautiful, good, good. Right, because we saw this money reading, these relationships at work, people were feeling left out in the cold, people were feeling abandoned, people weren't feeling heard, and your ideas probably aren't going through. But it looks like that stability is coming in with this root shock card coming up because you've gone within, okay? Because you've taken, because you faced judgment with yourself. Now I said y'all know how to do it, so don't say you don't know how to do it because you guys have you guys are obviously in this teacher position because you've learned some lessons. Not only have you learned the lessons, you've you've implemented them. You've embedded them into your life. You've you've um, implemented, is that the word I want to use? Integrated them into your life, right? They're not just lessons, they're your way of being. They're your not even if they're not your way of being, because lessons take a long time to kind of get into our fibers and our DNA and our natural reactions, right? But you do know what that feels like to face judgment. And because you know how to face judgment, you are able to look at yourself, go within, look at how you've been too high and mighty, humble yourself so that you can truly connect with your peers, your workers, your family, your loved ones. 
And you guys are going to have an incredible amount of stability now because now that relationship is built on some vulnerability. It's built on some trust. It's built on some active listening. It's been, it's built on some humility, right? Beautiful. Stable relationships are there for you. If you go within, if you face your self judgment and get real about what is and isn't working in your life, as far as your, um, the way that you, um, display your power. Okay. See what is and isn't working as far as how you display your power. Is it getting you the results that you want from this spread? Not necessarily. You've, you've, you've maintained and gotten some incredible personal happiness and, and growth, but you, now you need to nurture your relationships, right? And get them stable and happy and built on something good. All right, Sags, love and light to you guys. Continue to choose your healing, choose your love, joy, and pleasure. Love and light to y'all. Please let me know in the comment section how these energies are playing out for y'all. Love and light to you. See you on the next one.